All right, guys, welcome back. Now, in the previous video, we had a look at three different ways to specify a style. So we had an inline style, we had a document level style, and we also had the external style. Now, in this video, let us try to understand the priority that each one of these style sheets have. Now, to explain what I just spoke about, consider this example. Let us have an H1 element that says HTML and CSS. Now let's add an inline style to this using the style attribute. The style is equal to, let's say, color is red. Now let's also create within the head tag a document level style. So we use a pair of style tags and let's create for the same H1 element a color of, let's say, blue. Now let's also create for the same h1 element an external style. So h1 and this time let the color be orange. Now let's go ahead and use the link tag to include the external style sheet. So href will be mystyle.css. Now when we save this and before I refresh the page, let me ask you this question. What color is HTML and CSS going to be displayed in? Will it be the red inline color? Will it be the blue document level color? Or will it be the orange external style sheet color? All right, check it out. It is going to be the red inline color. So here's the thing. When, you, when we have all the three style sheets specified, the inline style sheet always, always takes the priority. And then that is followed by the document level style sheet and finally the external style sheet. So right now we have a color red, which is the inline style sheet. Now if we remove the inline color and just have a document level and an external style sheet, so the color blue at the document level is going to be applied to HTML and CSS. Now if we remove the style tags and save it and refresh it, then HTML and CSS are going to be displayed in the external color, which is orange. So that's pretty much it what I have about style sheets priority. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, take care.